What's up dudes, Max here, and I am so glad I finally get to share my impressions of Titanfall with you guys. Luckily, I was able to get in on the early, early release of the beta. It's not actually going to be completely available until the public, until I believe Friday. But um, I did get a chance to play the game a little bit more, and I could finally talk about the experiences that I've had in the past compared to the ones now playing the game. So let's just get right into it. So what you're going to notice when you play Titanfall is that the control layout and controls are very similar to other modern first-person shooters a la Call of Duty, Battlefield, and stuff like that. What's interesting about the game is that it takes the dynamics of wall running and stuff like that and doesn't overcomplicate them. Doing things like parkour and wall running just makes sense, and literally they work with the tap of a button. As long as you press the jump button on the wall, you'll literally jump off the wall, and if you run or press down the left stick while on a wall, you'll run on the wall. It's not overly complicated, it doesn't have to be over overly complicated, and it feels really good. Uh, and that's what I want to move into next, is the feel of the game. Uh, Titanfall feels like a mixture of a lot of different games. Now, a lot of a lot of shooting games take things from other shooting games, and most shooting games have taken things from Call of Duty for quite a while now, but Titanfall feels like a mix of a lot of different things, and what I like about it the most is that it resembles a lot of what I liked about the Lost Planet series. Uh, Lost Planet 1 and 2 are a couple of my favorite multiplayer games of the last generation, especially Lost Planet 1, because it was an extremely difficult first-person shooter to, go to get good at. It is literally the fighting games of first-person shooters, but a lot of the game and what made it interesting was the weapons, the dynamics, the physics, the uh, the combat, the, the mechs, all that stuff coming into play. And Titanfall quite literally feels like a combination of Lost Planet in some of its design aspects with Call of Duty 4. And most of the perspective you're going to hear from me is coming from the perspective of a guy that played older competitive Call of Duty games. I was a competitive COD 4 player for a little while. I really enjoyed that game. I played that more than any shooter probably in my entire life. And I joy enjoyed the Call of Duty series thoroughly up until Black Ops 2, and I had big issues with the connections. And this game feels, it feels fundamentally like a Call of Duty 4. But it's a lot more loose. It doesn't directly feel like how COD feels nowadays, so I wouldn't worry about that too much even though it's with the previous Call of Duty designers. Like I was saying before, the bigger issues I've had with the Call of Duty series as it's grown is the netcode, and you dudes all know this. I stopped making Call of Duty videos because of that reason alone, and this game alleviates the hell out of that. What's nice is that you actually get a server list to choose from. You can choose from West Coast, you know, East Coast, anything different. Like UK, I saw servers up all over the place. And you can directly port yourself to the closest hub for the best connection time and only play West Coast players. That's the smartest thing that you can possibly do. Not put yourself in any situation that can add additional lag, and the times I did play the game, it was freaking great. No dying around corners, people, people drop as soon as you shoot them, and mentioning that, the time to kill in Titanfall is um, probably about twice as long as Call of Duty. People still drop really fast. Don't expect a Halo or something like that. I think it's probably comparable to uh, the Battlefield series about how quickly people drop to the ground as far as you shooting them. Titans act a lot differently and really change the overall dynamic of how a match works. Uh, as soon as the game starts, you don't have a Titan. You have to wait two minutes for it to come in and eventually kill enough grunts and AI bots, which we'll talk about in a sec, and kill enough people to ease the time to get your Titan into battle. And when you have your Titan and you get a certain amount of kills or points, you can actually get a rage mode of some kind that increases your damage by what seems to be quite a bit. You can drop people really fast if you're in a high damage mode. But when you're in a Titan, the game is dramatically different. Uh, you have access to different weapons. You have like a primary weapon and this secondary weapon, which is like ballistic missiles and stuff like that. But you also have shields, you have electric smoke, which damages everything around you. Uh, and you have to make the choice between these things. Each, each Titan and each character or each regular pilot has their own perk set and has different things that you can load them out. And just like in Call of Duty games, these perk sets are pretty dramatic, but there's nothing general like like stopping power or anything like that, or increased health. It's more along the lines of uh, faster reload time on your secondary Titan weapon, which is like your ballistic missiles. You can actually reload the missiles faster. Very valuable. Some of these weapons are, are really good, and they can do a lot of damage really fast, but they have huge reload times. And I'm talking like, I'm talking like it's not going to be 15 seconds till you get to use that gun again, so you got to be very spar sparing with it. 
Uh, but a lot of the times, I enjoy I enjoy having the Titan set to an AI follow bot. You can actually have it follow around you, and then it, it kills everything within close proximity while you do stuff as well. It's really good if it comes across a uh, another Titan, like a person that's piloting a robot, and yours is on AI, and you literally jump on the guy's back, and you mount him, and you start shooting the back of it to, uh, to, get, to get them out of their Titan, and your AI Titan will shoot the guy as he jumps out of his Titan. It's it's cool. It's like it's a really interesting dynamic to actually not pilot the Titan sometimes because sometimes having two versus one can be a pretty good threat as long as you don't get immediately pounced by uh, by a Titan or something like that. Now, as I mentioned before, there's a huge different aspect of this game compared to other multiplayer first-person shooters, and that's bots. There's actual AI opponents uh, spread throughout the maps. They're called grunts and specters, and some of them are more damaging, take more hits than others, and you get points for these things. Of course, killing these guys does get you points that'll enable you to get your Titan a little bit earlier, and the score does help out your team. But what the challenge is, is that you're going to have a lot of these grunts on the opposing team that you want to shoot, because they're just there. You want to shoot them. You get a lot of ammo in this game, which is good. I've never really ran out of ammunition, but the challenge is if you run into a grunt or two, and you run into a person, they don't look very different a lot of the time. Uh, Depending if they're a robot, if they're regular pilots, they look really similar to grunts and and some other AI opponents running around, and you have to make the physical distinction, is that a person or is that an AI? Because I need to shoot the person first, because they're going to kill me. Now, some of the AIs aren't very threatening, but they do upgrade. There are some of them that act a lot more aggressive and are a lot more offensive than than some others, and some others will actually run away when you shoot at, shoot at them and stuff like that, like the basic grunts. Um, but in those situations where you got to make a quick call between is that person a pilot, is that person a grunt, and you want to kill them all, of course, but you need to focus on one of them quick because they're all going to start shooting at you at one point. And if you don't have any health left, I've come into many situations where I've been I've been in a firefight with real people, and a couple of the grunts around straight kill me, and it's like son of a bitch, man, oh my god. And you think you have the entire situation, but no, they they do shoot at you, and they do they also do anti-Titan stuff. They actually pull out rocket launchers and stuff when you're in your Titan, and that becomes pretty threatening, especially when you're just roaming about, and all of a sudden, six grunts have rocket launchers pointed at you. It's like, holy hell, and you just get the hell out of there. So, the game is crazy. Uh, it's a lot different than, than I was actually expecting it to be, and I think that's a really good thing. Getting into the overall, now that you guys understand the gameplay, my overall impression of the game is very similar to Lost Planet and games like Call of Duty 4 in the past. But what I enjoy about it is that I get that kind of sense of wonderment. That that moment where you jump into a multiplayer match for the first time with very little knowing of the game. Like, I knew a lot of Titanfall going in, but I didn't know how it was going to be when you actually play it. And I was very surprised, and I was very happy as a result of this. The game does not look amazing. My biggest gripe is the graphics of the game so far. It isn't, it isn't a severely visually impressive game, but there is a lot of stuff going on. On the Xbox One version, there can be a little frame rate problems every once in a while, but I've known my Xbox to like overheat in some situations, causing frame rate issues. I hope that stuff is fixed eventually, but it runs very well. And uh, between all the action and how big the scope is with all the grunts on the screen, if you have people running around with their AI titans with them, it's just insanity. The game gets absolutely ballistic and I just can't believe what's going on especially if you come out of the smoke and you're still alive it's freaking amazing and what I like about Titanfall is that it's specifically designed for amazing shit to happen like between Titans falling on other Titans when they when the Titan actually falls in between you ejecting out of your pod with a guy on top of your pod and you meet each other in midair 200 feet in the sky as you fall back down to the ground parkouring left and right off of a wall as a Titan is gunning you down as you're doing your best just trying to get away from everything it's it's crazy. The game is designed for insanity, for crazy moments to happen. And this is the part where it really feels like these guys know how to make multiplayer games. Like, I've trusted the, the original Infinity Ward, which is now Respawn Entertainment, in making good games for quite a long time, and they've... They're pretty much delivering, and I'm I'm very happy with Titanfall. Um, I get lost in this game. Like, I I had the luxury of hosting one of the first Titanfall beta streams to literally 10,000 people watching live on twitch.tv slash Maximilian underscore dude. And that was amazing, having so many people jump in and just like, check this out, check this out, and I was getting pretty good at it. And it was so much fun just to be able to show things off as I was discovering them with people. I'm telling you guys, I get the same sense of, whoa, when you play this game in multiplayer that I have not had in a very long time. And uh, I'm just happy that there's another shooter game that I can be confident in playing and jumping in and having 
a lot of fun with. What I can't wait for, though, is to actually play this game with teammates. That seems like it's going to be freaking amazing, because this game with teammates seems very focused around having coordination and stuff like that. It could be so cool roaming around three titans together, and no one's going to be able to take you down. I can't freaking wait. I'm really happy with it. If you guys want to check out more live stream gameplay, stay here or on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash maximilian underscore dude, and I'll have highlights up on this channel in case you guys missed it. As well as a Titanfall hype compilation, which, man, there was some there was some awesome moments that I want to highlight from the uh, from the five-hour live stream of the first day of the beta. Either way, thank you dudes a ton for tuning in. Thank you a ton for watching live if you did. And stay tuned for more because this game is just getting started. My name is Maximilian. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you dudes online.